happy people i'm back with another video and today i have um some products some new products that i want to show you all from jellen so jellen reached out to me and they informed me that they are getting ready to release a new line of press-on nails um and so i'm super excited to show you guys what they sent over um for me to review so their line of press-on nails is going to be called omani and this is like i said from jellen and so they sent me this pack here this was one that they let me pick out and then they were kind enough to send me this set um, as well so let me open this and show you guys what it's looking like here I want to start with this set right here them sending me this was really timely because you all know that I do have a press on nail series going on on my channel and so I'm always excited to try out new and different press on nails this is the packaging it looks really cute and really sleek um, I always like Jellin's packaging it's always kind of like modern twist or whatnot so it does come with four different styles in here it says they're safe easy removal no glue needed um, over here on the side it says the gel color stays on trend um, comfortable natural look and feel no glue no dry time easy application safe on natural nails removal is hassle free chip resistant waterproof and smudge proof which is really awesome press on nails in minutes ultra fit slim design the instructions here on the back so i'll just show you guys that if you want to pause it and read it but honestly i've applied press on nails so many times i really don't need to read it they're all kind of the same so let me open this up here Ooh, super cute i forgot the designs that i had chose oh these are really cute you guys look at this one y'all know okay so y'all know i had to choose a set that has some bling in it how cute is this so this is like a deep like burgundy set that has like some rhinestone bling here at the cuticle and then an accent nail that's all blinged out that's really cute okay i like that and it does come with 30 nails in each box so that's really nice so you'll be able to do multiple sets let me actually open this one up and see how they have it packaged here okay oh this is cute packaging I like that. Okay, everything is nice and compact here. Let's open this up and see what we got. Yeah, you can tell they put some thought into this packaging. I like that. Okay, so these are the nail tips. Like, this is like actually stacked on here, which is kind of nice. And then this part pops off like so and then it reveals all the other things that come with it so you get some sticky nail tabs so that's how you apply them you also get um, a mini file a cuticle pusher and an alcohol wipe and then you get the additional press on nail so I'm kind of curious to see how they fit on my nail bed oh very nice looks like it'll fit my nail bed perfectly that's cool all right I'm excited for these this bling nail though y'all oh me oh my how cute is that oh yes i am here for it i love it okay okay so we might this might have to be the set that i do <laughs> i love this oh my gosh do y'all see that's cute and it fits my nail beds absolutely perfectly yeah, I'm gonna have fun with these. Okay, cool, so that's the first set here. And I'm sure each pack is gonna come with the exact same things in it, just all gonna be different designs. I really, the packaging on this is really good though. I like how they have it to where, you know, even when you take it out, cause typically when you have press on nails and you take it out, like all the extra accessories just fall out all everywhere. Like I like that it's all contained and it's like two levels to it. Like this is, this is sleek packaging. I could tell they put thought into that, which I can appreciate, so. That is the first set here. And then the second design here. This is this kind of looks like um like St. Patty's Day themed, right? So we got like the um four-leaf clover, some more four-leaf clovers, and this nice like kind of deep green color. And then <clears throat> the next set here we have um this it's kind of an array of colors here. We got a, a deep blue, a pastel yellow, and um this cute little designs here. I forget what this print is called, but it's really cute though. So we have that one. And then the last one we have here is this one right here. And this one is like a yellow and blue set that has like these really cool floral accent nails. So yeah, really liking all the colors that came in it. Packaging is really good and sleek. I, I like how they did that. I really like how they did that a lot. Ugh. 
I'm tempted to wear these, but honestly, I think I might save them for a special occasion because I really just want to demo the nails for you guys and then save my, so I'm kind of weird, right? The press on nails, I actually like to wait until I have an event to go to or something to do and I will just apply them and wear them like I just got my nails done typically because I'm actually lazy when it comes to doing my nails. Um, and so when I actually have to do them for an event, I don't, I normally just go for press ons, but you know, when I'm filming and stuff, I like to do my nails or whatever. So yeah, y'all, I don't know. We'll see, but I like to, the good thing about press on nails, which I've mentioned this in a couple of other my videos is when you don't have time to do your nails, you can always have press on nails as a backup option. So um, when I used to travel a lot for work, um, I would always keep a set of press on nails and or some nail wraps in my travel bag. I would just always keep a random set in there. Um, and then also it's just really good when you need a quick mani and you don't have time, maybe you have like an event that's like, you know, Maybe you have a last minute event that you need to have your nails done for. Press on nails always come in handy for this. So I'm happy that they sent these over. And then the last that they sent me, I guess this is like a different style here. Um, well, no, it looks like the same style, but like a different, um, I guess, option or whatnot. And so these are, so these actually come with 24 nails instead of 30. And so looks like it has the same information on the box here same instructions on the back. I like that they have the instructions on the back and not actually inside on some piece of paper that we normally lose anyway. Yeah, same stuff here. So let me open this box up and see how this comes. Again, same nice good packaging though. I like how they have it packaged. That, yeah, that's, that's pretty legit. So here you can see we have the nail adhesive tabs here. Open this one up. Yeah. These are good quality press on, so I will say that. All right, so this one comes with four nail adhesive tab sheets. The other one I think only came with two. You have the same. Okay, yeah, we got two. Okay, we got two of the um, mini files and cuticle pusher. And then you also have um, the alcohol pad. And then you also have the alcohol pad. So I'm feeling like I should probably do these pink nails because I already have pink nails on. And yes, y'all, uh, she cute though. <laughs> I do have a full tutorial on this look as well. I'm gonna leave it linked down in the description box. But because these nails are pink, I do think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the pink on this hand just to kind of try to somewhat stay matchy matchy. And I'm gonna apply them using these nail adhesive tabs. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got double numbers on here. So I'll leave these out. I'll leave this little prep pad out. And then I'm gonna go through and size all of my nails, okay? All right, so I have my nails all sized and ready to go. Now, something I just noticed about this packaging and these nail tabs that I really, really like is the fact that they have the numbers on them. So you see right here in this box where I took the num I mean, where I took the uh, press on off of, it actually has the number of the size tip that went there. So this was a size six and this was a size five. I can appreciate that because when I'm not wearing my sets or like say if I've used a set of press on nails and I know I can get another set out of them, I do actually pre-prep them by kind of having them in the display thing. So I like that they actually thought about doing that and added that in. So that was a cool touch. And then the other thing, so let me cover this up, right? And then the other thing I really like about this is the fact that y'all, the tabs are numbered. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, right? But the tabs have numbers on them. Let me see if I can show you guys. I don't know if you can see it or not, but this one is number four. Maybe it's backwards. Okay, yeah. So this one is number four, right? This one's number three. This one's number eight. So that means that it corresponds with the actual tip that you have. How nice is that, right? Because you always try to like guess like what size tab you need. They take that guessing work out of it for you. So that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply these tips on. I did get everything sized and ready to go. Um, I am just gonna use the items that came just strictly in the kit, just to make sure that I'm giving the kit a good full thorough review. So I'm gonna use my prep pad here. Well, first I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna push back my cuticles with the cuticle stick that they provided, okay? So I'm just gonna do that really quick. Okay, 
And so now that I've gotten my cuticles all pushed, up, pushed back, I am gonna go ahead and lightly buff the surface of the nail with the little file that they provided here. Okay. And you wanna make sure you have a nice rough surface um, to the nail so that you can try to get as long as we're as possible out of the nails, okay? And you don't have to do much, it's just like a light buff. Obviously this would be easier with a bigger file, but you know, say if you were on the go for travel purposes and things like that, in a rush, maybe in the car doing it on your way to where you, the event that you're getting to, you know, this, this works just fine, you know? And then another thing I like to do when I'm doing my press-on nails is because I don't want my, want my natural nails to kind of stick out the side of the press-on, I actually go through and I just bring in the sides of my nails just so that they don't stick out from the press-on nails. So I'm going to go through all of my nails and do that really quick. Yeah, this little file works pretty good. Now that that is all done, and now I'm gonna go in with the prep pad. They actually give you two prep pads, which is pretty nice. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just dehydrate the nail with the prep pad, which is essentially an alcohol wipe, right? So I'm just gonna go through and rub down each nail. Now you guys, when I used to travel for work, press on nails were my jam, okay? I was always on the go. I never had time to get my nails done or do my nails. So I would always just default to press on nails. And um, the brand that I used to use, I think was like Kiss, you know, something from Kiss or whatever. I think the Impress Kiss nails or whatever. And I do actually have a video on my channel where I was applying those. Um, so I'll leave that link down below if you guys wanna check it out. But those were my jam for like the absolute longest, but I haven't really done those type of press on nails in a while. And I actually have a pretty extensive collection of them because I had found them on sale one time. So if y'all are interested in seeing my little press on nail collection, let me know because I'd be happy to show you guys. It's it's a lot of press on nails, I'm not gonna lie, it is. So yeah, I wanted to have different styles and options from when I was traveling, but yeah. Okay, so I think the nails are all ready to go here. Gonna give it one more wipe down. All my nails are sized out, so I love the fact that these little tabs have the numbers on them. So my index and my ring finger are both a size five. So I'm just gonna look on here and find the size five and put it on. Just take that off. So I see a size five here. So I'm gonna peel it from here and then just put it onto my actual nail. So, you don't want it too close to the cuticle. Kind of want it right in the middle of the nail, like so, and then press down. And when I do tabs, I like to go ahead and just put all the tabs on at once and then go through and remove the tabs. My middle finger was a size four. I'm gonna do a size four. That's, this is so helpful to have the number on the actual tab itself. Like, that's kind of genius. I'm glad they thought about that. That makes it a lot quicker and easier to be able to, to do the nail. And that's pretty cool. So that's size four. And then I'm gonna go through and do the rest. Now all of the adhesive tabs have been applied. Now I'm just gonna go in and peel each one of them off. Because I have long nails on, that's kind of difficult to do. So I'm just gonna use my tweezers to help me out. And I'm just gonna go through and peel each one off. And then as I peel it off, I'll just go ahead and apply my press on nail. So when I'm applying my press on nails, I do like to um, slightly tuck the nail underneath the cuticle. When I slightly tuck the nail underneath the cuticle, it does give it a more natural appearance. So first I'm gonna kind of lay it down a little bit, right? And then slightly tuck it like so. And then I'm gonna press down. And then I'm gonna press, 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 press. When doing these, I normally press down for about a good 30 seconds before I let go. So I'm gonna just hold that for 30 seconds here. Applying firm pressure. And then I'm just gonna repeat that process for all the nails. So I'm gonna peel it off. Okay. Slightly tuck the nail underneath the cuticle. Like so. Just slightly tuck first and then press down. Like so, that's perfect. And then you wanna just press for 30 seconds 
And then you'll wanna kinda of rotate your hand over it, kinda of moving back and forth, just to make sure you got some really good adhesion there. And that looks good. Alrighty, so all of the nails have been applied. Um, one thing that I like to do after I apply press on nails, especially with adhesive tabs, is like I said, for the next, I would say one hour, I'll just go back through and just keep applying pressure to the nails. And that's really just to, al to allow the glue to go ahead and set into place. Um, the glue still needs a little bit of time to really adhere to the press on nail as well as your natural nail bed. So the more you press it down, the better the adhesion will be. So I do that for about one hour. Another thing you guys want to make sure you do is do not put your hands in any type of water for the next four to eight hours. Four hours at minimum, eight hours if you can. Typically when I'm doing like a press on set, I will wait like I will do it at night before I go to bed. That way I know that I won't have to, you know, worry about avoiding water and things like that. And while I'm sleeping, the uh, nail tab and the glue or whatnot, the nail, the nail adhesive tab is really having a chance to adhere nicely to the press on nail as well as the nail bed. Um, and then the other thing that you do not want to do right now, right? I just applied these press-ons. Do not apply any cuticle oil to your nails. You need to wait that four to six hours before you want to apply any type of cuticle oil to the hands. Cause again, you want to give that glue time to set. So this is actually all I'm going to do for right now. Um, like I said, for the next hour, I'm just going to go through and press on the nails. So once the nails are applied, the last thing you want to do is go in with your file and typically press on nails have like that little tab at the top from when they manufactured it you just want to go through on all of the nails and just you just want to go through on all of the nails and remove that little tab so it doesn't take much to remove it just a quick little shave down of the file we'll get that taken care of like so all right you guys ain't she cute though Yes, she nice, she simple, she pretty, and she cute. That's that pretty and pink situation, okay? So yeah, if you guys follow those steps that I just told you, right? Don't get your hands wet for about four to eight hours. Don't put cuticle on. Don't put cuticle oil on for about four to six hours. Keep pressing down for one hour after application. You guys can get up to about two weeks of wear out of press-ons. I have actually gotten two plus weeks of wear out of press-on nails before with adhesive tabs, as long as I follow those steps strictly. Um, so like I said, applying them before bed is probably gonna be your best bet. But yeah, I really like these press-on nails from um, Jelen and their new line, Vamani. Um, they did tell me that these are actually gonna be available on Amazon. I am gonna go ahead and link them down in the description box below so that you guys can get your hands on them too. These seem like some really good press on nails. They seem really nice and sturdy. They're really flat and thin. They're nice and thin to the cuticle and almost looks like the nail that I have on my other hand. You know, like look how thin and flush to the cuticle that is. This is just as flush to it. So yeah, I really like that a lot. So after I wait my how many ever hours, I am gonna go ahead and apply cuticle oil and things like that. But like I said, because I want them to kind of last, I'm not gonna do that. Um, so yeah, I do actually recommend these. I love the thought that they put into the packaging of these nails. Again, everything is packaged nice, neat, simple. The fact that they had numbers on the adhesive tabs, that sold me on these to be honest with you because that makes life a lot easier. Like it made it 10 times quicker for me to just go ahead and put the nails on and go. I want to give a special shout out to Jelen for sending over these press on nails. I think they're really good to be honest. So yeah I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you think about my press on Manny. I do love wearing press on nails. If you guys have not 
try them out you definitely should i'll try to come back and give you guys an update i don't know how long i'm gonna actually keep these on because i do have um some other videos to film but i like i like how it looks like she cute though, ain't she? A special thanks to Jellin for sending me these products over for a review. Um, I definitely like them a lot, so I will be looking forward to using more of these press-on nails because, yeah, y'all, they pretty nice. Um, I do also have a discount code with Jellin. Um, I will leave that link down in the description box as well as on the screen. So if y'all ever shop their website, y'all can save some money on some of their products. Um, otherwise, um, I'll have Amazon links um, for their products linked down in the description box. Okay, happy people, I am back with an update on my um, Vamani press on nails. Um, these are the nails that I have applied to my right hand here. And you guys, it is exactly one week later, okay? Um, I am very impressed with how these nails are holding up. Um, they still look like I just applied them, right? Like you can see that there's like a little bit of like wear at the tip but it's nothing that's super noticeable like you know to the naked eye far away you know when you're out and about in the real world no one is going to notice this and surprisingly enough um i actually wasn't planning on doing a wear test with these nails right i was going to take them right off but um i an hour after i applied the set i needed to um, get my hands wet and i went ahead and did it and i was like that's fine because i'll pop them off anyway i got my hands wet and i noticed that they still were intact and they were intact very well and so i was like hold on these press on nails seem like they're going to be really good and so i actually ended up keeping these on for an entire week you guys i applied these exactly a week ago today and they are still holding strong when i say there's like no lifting like i'm impressed so this is this is what's happening at the cuticle area with these nails and they're still on really good so I highly recommend these. One of the things that I really enjoy about them is that they have a very thin profile. So they really don't look like press on nails. Like these kind of remind me a lot of the Kiss Impress press on nails. And a few years ago, I actually did a review on how to apply those on my channel. I'll leave that video link down below so you can kind of see the difference in the two types of press on nails. But these are really good. They're high quality. I love how everything came packaged. I love um, how the sticky tabs had the numbers on them. I loved how easy they were to apply. This is something I'm definitely going to be putting in my travel bag so that when I go on my trips and I don't have time to do my nails, this is what I'm going to be wearing, you guys. I'm very, very impressed. Highly recommended. Um, these products are available on Amazon, so I am going to leave a link down in the description box in case you guys are interested, want to check them out. You know, I know a lot of us do our own nails, but if we're ever in a pinch and just need a set done really quick, these are a great alternative, okay? And so I'm actually going to show you all my removal process of these. I did apply them with sticky tabs. Um, oh, the other thing I wanted to mention too that I noticed with the nails before I take them off is that on the middle finger, somehow there's like a wrinkle in the nail. I'm not exactly sure what happened there, but there's like a slight wrinkle in the nail. But besides that, everything else wore beautifully. So yeah, and there's like slight new growth as well. You guys can't really tell, but there's just a little bit of new growth there. So yeah, I'm ready to do a different set on this hand, but I have no doubt in my mind that this set would last up to two weeks, guys. I just, I already know. I, I wear, I, back when I used to travel, I used to wear press on nails a lot. So I know that these will hold up for two weeks and I didn't have to do anything special to keep them on. So yeah, let me go ahead and pop these off and see what the removal process is like. Wow, and just like that, they pops off. Yeah, that's pretty cool, y'all. That is pretty cool. Just like that, it pops off. Yeah, these are really good. And y'all see how the tab is actually, it's like separating from the tip, not even my natural nail. So that lets me know that these would have held up very well. These would have held up very, very well for two weeks. I'm impressed. If I need to go on vacation or something like that, baby, I just, <laughs> these are going in my travel bag. That's all I, that's all I know. So yeah, there we go. And then it just pops right off y'all. So to remove this glue, um, you can do one of two things. You can roll it off, right? Or if you want to, you can um, use some acetone and take it off. I normally just roll it off all the nails. So yeah, I just wanted to come back and give you all the quick update. It's just as easy to apply as it is to remove. So I highly, highly recommend them. And I'm super excited that I have a few more sets in my possession. Cause like I said, y'all, these are going in my travel bag. Really, really like these a lot. So yeah, Jelen, well done. Well done with these press on nails. Um, loving the new brand you got here with uh, Bamani. Oh, do you all wear press on nails? 
nails and if so which brand of press on nails is your favorite i think i might have found a new favorite with these press ons i hope you all enjoyed this video i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday thursdays in particular are my nail therapy thursday premieres where i tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and yeah if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye